everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So, we are in the process of putting doors in our boxes so that we can use them for storage, so that we can easily be able to get in and out and put things inside to be stored. So, one of the things that we're going to store in here are our solar panels, and um, that way then we can take them out when we need them and have a place to safely put them away while we're traveling. Until Ram Promaster puts a rack on the top of this that I like. Yes. So we've put our door in with our hinges. So the only thing we have to do is we're going to have to um, get a latch that we can put on the outside so that when the door is closed, it stays flush instead of wanting to go in like it does. So um, we're going to now start working on this side. So let's get started. Yeah, good job painting the edges and everything. Thank you. Now Bill is going to drill holes in the sides so that he can make a space big enough to get the skill saw in to cut the hole in the box. Bill has made his hole big enough that he can get his skill saw in, so he's going to go ahead and cut around the edges and make the um, hole so that we can turn it into a door. All right, so we have our first cut across the top. We're going to continue the other three sides. Okay, so now we have all the cuts made and we're going to remove the board to continue on. All right, so we design on the fly. It'd probably be better if we sat down and made a plan, but that takes time. So we design on the fly. So just like this one over here, we decided to paint the uh, trim, and that's what Lisa's doing here. Doing a mighty fine job. Thank you. Painting the edges. All right, so we're going to put a hole in the door so we can put our Disney knob on this door as well. So we're going to put the knob in. And attach the Disney knob to the door. Which Disney knob? Minnie Mouse. All right, so we have the Minnie knob on. And Minnie and Mickey together are going to be really cute back here. Once we cut the hole out, we now need to just trim the edges so that it will swing open and swing closed smoothly. So Bill is trimming the edges off the board so that it will fit perfectly in the hole. Lisa, as you can see, is now painting the edges of the door. So we've decided this brace is no longer needed in here. It's just in the way for getting things in and out of this storage compartment. And voila, it's out. As you can see, we're gonna to need to be vacuuming and doing a lot of dusting. <laughs> yes. From having this idea after <laughs> we, after we put the bed in. Alright, so now we are attaching the hinges to the door so that the door can then be attached to the box. And now we are attaching the door to the box. We have the hinges on and it's almost done. Okay, the final thing Lisa's doing is she's hot gluing some felt along parts of the edge, not only to help fill up some of the gap, um, but also so the door never makes any noise rattling against itself or anything like that. And that pretty much does it. We just When I went and bought these hinges yesterday, I forgot to get latches. 
So we'll just have to get some latches, but this project is good. Yeah, very good. We went out and found our latches. So we have gold latches, black hinges, and a pewter knob. But Bill did need to come out in the 107 degree heat, get the latches on so that we could finish our project. And we're very, very happy with it. It works well. Um, as you can see, the latch, this little latch here will come up and over, and then we can open our door to put our stuff in. Now we have to do some cleanup, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video, learning how we put the doors in the side of our boxes. If you liked the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up by clicking the like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Bye!